Welcome to Bee Beads. My name's Billy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely safety pin bracelet. So to start, open your safety pin, and what you want to do is thread your seed beads onto the open side of the safety pin. You want to fill it until you've got about two millimeters exposed at the top. This way it will close back nice and securely. You're just going to thread the seed beads onto one side of your safety pin, not the opposite side. But you're going to repeat this for all 90 pins. So now we have three even piles of our safety pins. And we also have our elastic but firstly I would like you to take the flat nose pliers as we're going to squeeze the eye of the safety pins to ensure that they don't open once we've threaded our safety pin bracelet so on the top of each safety pin you're just going to squeeze the eye together this will stop them popping back open repeat this on all 90 pins Okay, so we're now ready to start stringing the safety pins onto the elastic. So we're just going to half the elastic, but don't cut it. And then what we want to do is take the first safety pin, onto one side thread the tail end of your safety pin, and on the opposite elastic you're going to go through the eye of the safety pin. The following pin you want to top and tail. So Firstly, we're going to thread the eye of the pin and then the tail of the pin. Continue this same method for the whole of the safety pin bracelet. That's all 90 pins. So now you will have all your pins threaded onto the elastic and they should all be topping and tailing each other all the way along. I'm just going to thread the last three safety pins before showing you how to knot the safety pin bracelet. So now we have all our safety pins threaded and you have the two tail ends and also the end of elastic that hasn't yet been cut. So we're just going to flip that round and then with our scissors we're just going to cut through this elastic before tying our knot. Bring the two top threads that run parallel to each other and tie a loose knot. This will stop the safety pins from falling off whilst we secure the bottom row. We're going to tighten this one afterwards. Then take the two parallel bottom cords and the method I find best for tying a loop is to put my fingers close to the safety pins as I can and then tie the two strands together like I would the end of a balloon. So looping them round my fingers and then pulling the tail ends through that loop. Ease the knot down towards your pins so it's as close as you can get. And then you want to hold one side of the knot and the other and you're going to pull this as tight as you can. The knot will stretch onto itself and make it a lot more secure. A good firm pull is fine, it's not going to come undone. When we cut this, a dab of nail varnish on the knot is a good, good idea. You then want to flip the safety pin bracelet inside out and we're now going to tighten the top row that we just tied loosely. So we're going to use the same method. So we're going to loop that 
around the two fingers and pull it through like you would the end of a balloon. You have already got your knot in this side but it doesn't matter. So just pull that through nice and tight and make sure you pull the knot down towards the safety pins so that both sides are nice and even. then want to just use your scissors to take the excess elastic off both sides. Once you've cut off the excess elastic you then just want to flip the safety pin brace up the right way around and there you have it, your safety pin brace is complete. Thank you for watching and we'll be here again next month with our next project. Look forward to seeing you then. Thank you. Bye.